You need help. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Get it away from me. Get it away. Get it away from I do have potions of resist away. poison, but if we get bit by that thing, that's tickets for us. I do not have the armor to stand up to a frostbite spider. Even a wounded one. We're gonna have to use arrows. Could you get in there and actually fight that thing? There we go. That's it. That's gonna give me the opportunity to use that scroll I found. Oh my word, I did not expect that was gonna happen. I didn't expect the explosion to be that big. I'm sorry, Feindol, I didn't mean to hit you with it. Let's paralyze this thing. Hey yeah! Come on, we, we could do this, Feindal. We could do this. We just need to work together. You keep the spider's attention. There we go. Perfect. Good, good work, Feindal. You were an excellent distraction. down before anything else shows up where's the golden claw yes the claw I know how it works the claw the markings the door in the hall of stories I know how they all fit together help me down and I'll show you you won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there all right let me see if I can cut Sweet you down breath of arcade thank you <laughs> it's coming loose I can feel it all right hand it over why should I share the treasure with anyone? Ah, uh, they always run. But as any dungeon, when one rushes ahead, you will always run into a trap. Oh, hello. I don't like the looks of this. Let's uh, wake that guy up. <laughs> Come on, Draga, that was overly predictable. That was close. That was way too close. Whew. See, these Drogas are relatively predictable because they always attempt to power attack you as they approach you. Oh, he instinctively went behind that pillar. I thought I was going to get a sneaky shot off on him. Hold on. There we go. Got my sneaky shot. Watch, he's going to try and come over here and power attack me. I knew it. Ooh, 
gonna have to level up. Give me some extra health. Let's get an uh, extra 10% chance of doing critical damage. Pretty sure that hit would have killed me. Because the Drago was about to power attack. Alright. Oh, wait. You take that steel warhammer. Oh, hello, Arvel. See, this is what happens when you run out of head. You get attacked by swarms of Drago. You stuck with me. You wouldn't be in this predicament now, would you? So, I'll be taking that claw and that journal of yours. Because you definitely won't be needing it. And I'm sure he's not going to be getting up to complain about it anytime soon. Bane doll. Don't you dare step on that pressure plate. Although I just did have an idea. There's a Drago right there. It's going to be a restless one, so let's see if I can... Uh... Come on, just a little bit more. <laughs> Quickly, Feindal! Come on, Feindal, we can do this! Ugh. It's always the, the higher ranking Draugr that that always use magic while standing in front of their target. There we go. He's been taken care of. That's a spell tome. Courage. Don't know why you would use that. Now, Bandol. That is a pressure blade, which is probably going to end, which will kill me. It probably won't kill you, but please, for the love of so many things, don't step on it. Good. Really worried he was going to step on it. Oh, I see you. I see you. Come on up here. Power attack me. Did you just sh All right. Well, there's one I haven't seen yet. You sh hit me with a shield bash. All right, Feindel. Time for you to take over. I'm gonna heal myself. Oh. Sorry, Feindel. Didn't mean to hit you. There we go. Don't know how I hit him. Amulet of Talos. I will equip that. Even though I can't shout yet. And there's a Drago right there, and I just woke him up. Don't even think about it. Just take out a weapon. It's a bit late for the weapon. I'll take the bow, take the arrows. I'll take everything. Which one is stronger? The ancient Nord bow or the hunting bow? The Nord bow. The bow is a lot stronger. Well, the ancient Nord bow is a lot stronger than the hunting bow. Let's see, what is in this chest? You can open it with one lockpick. Yes. Now, anything else around here? No. 
Please don't kill me. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Now. Ooh. It's stressful when you have to run through there. I see you, Drog. I see your legs sticking out over there. Get a head start on attacks. He's going to come in and try and power attack me. Making it far too obvious to stop it. Yep, sorry, Drog. That was, uh, you shouldn't have run up to me and power attacked with a two-handed weapon. It's pretty slow and very easy to predict. Let's wake him up. He's gonna do the same. Yep. Here comes the power attack. Sorry, bud. The game didn't work in your favor, I'm afraid. Hello. Took you long enough to see me. No power attacks for you today, I'm afraid. There we go, and we finished it off with some finesse. And we gotta level up. I'm gonna put that straight into stamina. Alright, can I get any upgrades with swords? No. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go then for block. Go for shield wall. Make our blocking 20% more effective. And for anyone wondering which uh, which build I'm going to be going for, I'm pretty much going to be going for Sword and Shield. I, mean, I know I'm using a bow, but I only do that to get a quick head start. Since you need to take every opportunity you can get, especially on Legendary difficulty. Because the game is going to be very punishing to us. But it doesn't feel like it at the moment. It feels almost too easy. Hold on. Am I am, am I on legendary? Yeah, I'm on legendary difficulty. That felt easy. Or perhaps I'm just so used to playing on legendary difficulty. Mushrooms! Give me all the mushrooms. I'll take the pickaxe. And some more mushrooms. Give me the mushrooms. All of the mushrooms. Give me the pickaxe. I'm gonna mine this all. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. Hmm. That might come in handy. Alright. Aha. Come on, bud. Come on over. Oh, power attacking me. Not the brightest idea. Doing anything up there, Feindol? It's like you're not trying. Let's jump down here. Unlock this chest. Ah, shoot. I broke my lockpick. Feindol, we've lost the lockpick. Totally not my fault, it's your fault. 
Don't ask me how yet, because I don't know. I'll think of something. Ooh, I saw you. Boop, in the butt. Please don't see me, please. Ah, oh, he's on. Ooh! Stop that power attack just in time. You missed. Alright. Now that the Draugr's attention is off of me... As long as his attention stays on Feindol, I won't take a very heavy hit. There we go. See? Teamwork. Feindol is the uh, the tank and I'm the damage. Alright. Let's open this chest. Alright. To Bleak Fall Sanctum. Alright, now, I know of my own rules, so before I continue, I'm going to ask everyone the question. We just went into a loading screen to go into a new part of the dungeon. Does everyone consider this part of the same dungeon? Or do they consider this a next part of the dungeon, in which case I'm allowed to save again? I'm not going to save right now, because I don't want to have someone telling me I've broken my own rules. So, I'll leave that up for you guys to decide if I'm allowed to save in a dungeon that has multiple parts. Like, like Blink Falls Barrel, like most dungeons, really. They have multiple parts, so... Am I allowed to save in the next part of the dungeon, or am I only allowed to save at the very start, or... Once in the entirety of the dungeon? That is for you guys to decide. I don't like the looks of this. No kidding! Wait, what are you looking at? Are you... Were you looking at the wall? I thought you were talking about the blade swinging back and forth and I just walked in... I just nearly killed myself on it. Now... Ah, they've always attacked me. I hit him. Nice. Oh, and I hit him again. Oh, I hit him even though he dodged out of the way like a like a damn ninja. You are not getting a power attack for me. Sorry, sir. You need to be less predictable with power attacks. Oh, there the other guy is. Right. Let's get this done. And here is the Hall of Stories. Or so Arvel stated it. And all we need to do is line up these rings so that they match with the pictures on the claw. For those of you who are wondering... Uh, where is the claw? Where is the golden claw? Oh, there it is. Those are the pictures on the golden claw. It is uh, the same as it is. So, it unlocks the door. Ain't that right, Feindal? Look at that. 
Amazing, isn't it? You have a combination lock with a key, but you put the combination on the key. It's very secure. Oh, I saw that. I saw that iron ore. There we go. Some iron ore for me. Wow. Would you look at that? It's marvelous. Right, give me all the stuff. Imperial Bow of Ice, I'll take that. I uh, got a book. Clairvoyance. Shows the path to the current goal. Be ready for a fight, Feindol, because this is going to cause a fight. I've got a scroll. I'll fireball. Let's do this. That did nothing. Woo! You missed. Alright. I'm not gonna be able to... As I was gonna say, I won't be able to take a hit from this guy, because... You probably would kill me. Fane Dog, could you do a better job, please? Do your power attack. Come on. There we go. And I caught him in a perpetual loop. we got a level up from that oh no we didn't I thought I thought I we got a level up from it but it, clearly we didn't I was mistaken and now we can leave Bleak Falls Barrow behind right after we get this chest nifty stuff in there. Now we can leave Bleak Falls Barrow. Activate the handle. Lift this m the stone door with little effort. And take whatever's in this chest. Which is nothing. Absolutely nothing. And out of the dungeon we go. Alright. Well, we made it without Feindor for some reason. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. We, we managed to successfully find our way out of League Falls Barrow. And obtained the uh, the golden claw for who was he? Luke and Valerius. Yeah, Luke and Valerius. So hope you enjoyed, 
and leave a like if you enjoyed and if you really want to see more episodes like this consider subscribing and remember if you do subscribe you could help with more entertainment I don't know what I said I got lost in what I was going to say Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, and remember, well, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next episode when we return the claw to Luke and Valerius. Mm -hmm.